Hi there, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to root, backup, install a custom kernel, and install a custom ROM on a Samsung Captivate. Uh, generally I use Linux for everything, uh, even my TV. Uh, for the purposes of this, it's a lot easier to use Windows. So let's get started. All right, so what I've done prior to this video is to download all the links uh, down below and I've installed the Samsung driver I've extracted the Super One Click to this folder and I've extracted Odin 3 version 1.7 to this executable file right here now what we're going to do is we're going to take the phone and put it into development mode uh, you want to enable USB debugging yes and we're going to fire up the Super One Click program. Now there's an app application in here called Super One Click. So we fire that up. Yes. And plug in the cable. And then click root. Now pushing up the PS neuter and the device should be rooted at this point. It's now installing BusyBox, pushing some applications. Would you like to run a test? Yes. An SU command, you might have to select allow in super user. The device has been rooted. Alright. So now we can close this program out. We're done with that. Now at this point we're going to reboot the phone. Now we're going to do a titanium backup. The way you do a titanium backup is to go to the market and search for titanium backup. It should be called titanium backup root. Install it and then wait. Once it's installed, open up the program, allow it super user access, and it will search on through all of your folders and files and get its root rights and load up data. Now we're going to hit the, the menu button down at the bottom, go to batch, and then back up all user apps and system data and run. Now this takes a little while so we're going to cut this. All right, and we are done. So what we're gonna do is just hit home and then hold volume up, volume down, and power all at the same time. We don't care about what's left on this phone because we're getting rid of the ROM, all the data. And after about five seconds, it'll reboot. Keep holding. And sometimes it's kind of tricky to get into download mode. Uh, what we're doing now is we're just going to wait for these drivers to install. Alright, device is ready to use. So now we can open up Odin 3 1.7. And as you can see, it's detecting this phone has COM14. We can prove that by disconnecting it. It goes away. 
reconnect, comes right back. Alright, so now we're going to go down to PDA and then up on the desktop you can find your Ursa Minor Flash, open that up and hit start. Alright, it appears to have frozen, so uh, we're going to disconnect it. You never want to do it right away. So, gave it a little bit of time and uh, reconnected it, and we'll try again. Alright, well. We are going to disconnect it. Alright, so the first flash is unsuccessful. We see phone, exclamation point, PC. Not a big deal. So, we'll just uh, go on down, use our PDA again, click on Ursa Minor. Alright, so, we hit the PDA, we go on down to Ursa Minor, and start. As you can see, it's flashing up here, and it should be flashing down there. There we go. We are rebooting. We now have the Ursa Minor kernel on the Samsung Captivate. And we're going to speed this up a bit. Now, in the event that you have random errors like this, uh, e can't mount slash dev slash block slash whatever, uh, you can take the phone and put it into download mode and use the Odin one click to restore it. Now, the way you do that is you go back, click advanced, and reboot to download mode. Open up your Odin 3 one click and start the download. Once everything starts working correctly you'll see a little bar down here and this will take you right back to stock. and everything passed. Alright, so we're going to do this one more time. Press and hold the three buttons. And let go. Alright, so we're now in download mode and we want to use the Odin 3 1.7 and we're going to choose PDA Ursa Minor and go ahead and start Mm-hmm. 
demographics is now debated. All right, now the lag fix is activated. We've got all of our data backed up, restored. We'll now hold the three button fix. Remove the USB cable. And we need to do that one more time because the timing wasn't just right on that. There we go. And we will install zip from SD card. Andromeda 3. Now we'll go back by hitting the menu button and reboot system now. Now that we have Andromeda installed, we can go to the applications and then select Titanium Backup. Titanium Backup will restore all the applications that we backed up earlier. So we'll go on through and we will restore apps with data. Run the batch operation. Hey there, uh, earlier I said to restore missing apps and all system data, just restore missing apps with data. You may run into some problems if you're upgrading from 2.1 to 2.2 or 2.2.1. Uh, in that case, you can always just reflash the system and then restore missing apps with data. Now, another option is that you can always just go on back and uh, uh, whichever apps are giving you problems, you can go on through and wipe data on that particular app. Now, we ran into some problems earlier with uh, the uh, communication with the Windows drivers. Uh, that was just part of the game. It uh, something that happens every once in a while. Uh, don't panic. Titanium Backup still has your data. Thanks for watching.